Hi Sagittarius, this is Jess with your April 2017 mid-month council. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Sag, um, I'm seeing here that some of you are going to be waiting. Uh, it may take a month for some money that you're expecting to come in to come in. Okay, it could be income tax, it could be, you know, commission base, uh, that sort of thing. Um, you may be it may take a month and then, you know, the money will start to come in. Okay. And then you have another installment. So there's one big check. It looks like taxes, one big check. And then a smaller check comes a little bit later. Now, um, so money is coming in. Definitely. It comes in like installments. Some of you, you may have some, some high days. If you do sales, you have your own business. You may have some high days. You may have some low days. You may have some days where it's just, you know, get one sale, maybe two sales. And then you have some days where it's like uh you're gonna have several you know you're gonna be, be 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 excuse me bombarded uh with um sales you may find that you are dealing with a lot of kind of people and old situations kind of having to clean the slate of taking care of old stuff is kind of what i'm saying here okay um so you may be at that point now i see that um I'm seeing that for some of you, you kind of have to get over some emotional heartache, a loss, okay? Some of you could have recently, um, someone could have passed, could have been your dad for some of you. So my condolences, if that's the case, it could have been, you know, your husband or uh, the, the father of your children, okay? They could have been passing is what I see here very clearly. So my, my um, condolences, I know I said that to Aquarius as well, I think, um, in the beginning of this month. Um, and so it's like, there's a lot of reminiscing, picking up the pieces there for those of you that's experiencing that. Now, I, I feel like as, as it relates to the money that you have right now, you're being very, um, tight with your money. You're being very tight. You're not trying to spend any of your money. Although there's, you know, people wanting or trying to figure out, you know, how much, you know, what do you have? Or, you may have people, you know, knocking down your door, calling your phone like you owe, like, you know, debtors and that sort of thing. Um, and just when you think that, you know, hey, I've, you know, changed my number and I've gotten rid of those debtors or I've paid off a few things. And now, you know, I, I don't have, I don't think I have anything else to pay. There's more stuff to pay. Okay. Maybe someone else is still trying to come and, and that sort of thing. I would be very conservative. Like I said to you guys in the last reading, I would be very conservative about uh, spending this month okay it looks like you guys are trying to get to a particular financial goal like you want to set yourself to this amount of money with money in the bank okay um but then you may be feeling like i'm only putting it's happening a little bit at a time it's not necessarily happening as fast as i would like it to that sort of thing okay uh, i do see that some of you are at a place where um at the workplace i'll say that you may be um very all work, no play, you know, very all work, no play. Everyone may be acting that way. Like everyone's kind of like in their cubes or everyone is kind of off doing their own thing. I don't really see a lot of interaction, um, period. And, so, and you're in your, this is the rest of this month will be very he heavily contemplative for some of you really sitting and thinking, trying to figure things out, trying to, you know, unlock the code, if you will, of, you know, what, do, what is my next step? What is my, what am I going to do next? You know, a lot of you guys are wanting happiness. A lot of you guys are wanting to cut out and be done with certain things in your life. Like you want to be done with it. You want to move on. However, it's not going to be that easy. Some of you are waiting to get some type of judgment, get it, hear about a type, a specific decision. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and you're going to be waiting for a little bit with that. Okay. You may find out within the first three days or the first nine days of May, good news. OK, but you may at first be feeling a little, a little bit nervous about some type of court um, decision that's going to be coming down for you. OK, and some of you could have been waiting for quite some time and now you're going to get the judgment and it's going to be a good news for a lot of you. OK, uh, so that's good. Um, it looks like you're trying to get justice. You're trying to get to a place where you want to balance your life out. A lot of you. OK. And as we get closer to April, um, April, as we get closer to May, that's going to be more of your focus. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to start to get more um, silence and get more um, secluded 
even if you're in a room of 50 million people, you're going to be very much um, having this aloneness. I can't think of the word I want to say, but, you know, you're going to have this very much this feeling of alone, you know, contemplative, even around others, trying to, again, figure out how do you balance your life out? You know, when are you going to start to do that? Okay. And even if some of you are feeling like, okay, I had to take care of certain things. So I kind of had to be by myself. I had to figure this thing out. I had to work this thing through. Now I have. And now you guys will be able to kind of like move on. Okay. I feel like going into May, things are going to become a lot more brighter and sunnier and things are going to be a lot better for you guys. Um, the, uh, the last, the first two months, the first two months, so May and June, um, or the first two weeks of May. Okay. Or the last two, I'm sorry, the last two weeks of May. Um, and I'm even talking like I'm so confused here. So a lot of you guys are very confused. Your reading is kind of all over the place. You have all kind of different feelings and, and cards here. Um, so there's this sifting through some emotions. And let's get into that. Uh, it looks like some of you guys are in this family dynamic, right? And I know I had have, I have left off with like you guys are in a relationship because, the, you know, the family dynamic is there. But you feel like his focus is someplace else. His intentions is someplace else. Um, I feel like you guys are really there for the kids. If you have children okay or you're there because you've been with each other since high school you've known each other forever and you, you know you have that connection right um your mate is pretty much like the rock of Gibraltar he's a very solid person right he's authoritative person so life kind of revolves around him and he may not even mean to be that way or you may not even be mean to be that way but that's just how you have established yourself you're very established and so you know life kind of in your family that di dynamic it kind of does revolve around you you have a solid position you may find that your mate is quite um emotionally attentive ladies you might find yourself very emotionally attentive for the remainder of this month to your mate okay and some of you could be nursing your dad and that sort of thing but i'm i am focusing particularly on love now um i feel like some of you have moved on to this relationship or move in move forward with this relationship in hopes that it's going to work that it's going to be really it can turn into something more solid it can grow that sort of thing i feel like some of you your heart is cold you know you may be showing love you may be in one moment being um loving to your family to your mate but then your heart is kind of cold you're trying to decide you know um is this something that you really want to continue to do? Is this something that's viable? You know, you know, should you continue to see if this thing is going to, you know, be at the place that you want it to be? Okay. Or should you, you know, decide to do something else? Your mate could be doing, thinking that too. You know, your, it could be a break because when you guys get to this callousness and you start to get a little bit cold towards your mate or them, you, then there's this break where it's like silence. You guys become a bit divided, right? Now, there's some things that you guys have went through a lot in this relationship, some deceit, you know, some betrayal, some hurt, some pain. And I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to uh, get your mate to come clean. A lot of people are doing that. You, know, you may be trying to make some plans and saving money. So some of you are like making plans and saving money to, um, I don't see like moving on, but there's like just making a particular plan and trying to save money. Others of you are trying to figure out from this person, like either why are you so distant or, you know, what are you up to? What are you doing? That sort of thing. And the person isn't going to tell you. OK, I'm not really seeing deceit here. I'm not seeing like cheating in the sense I'm seeing that I'm seeing more like it's your energy. Now, your mate could have or some of you could be reminiscing about somebody from your past, particularly in Aries, uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, but you could be reminiscing about somebody from your past, even though it's over, you know, um, you may, you know, wonder what's going on with that person, that sort of thing for some of you. OK, uh, for those of you that's in this relationship that can relate to what I'm saying, you've got to get over what emotional um, upsets that you've gone through in this relationship. And I know I said that before you kind of you guys have got to kind of like really try to embrace and just you know, test it out, test it and see if I just, you know, really give of myself and love not just go through the motions of like I cook, I clean or, you know, I do whatever 
I take care of the kids. I, you know, I take care of him, whatever it is that you do to, to like, you know, communicate. I tell him I love him all the time, but your heart isn't in it, you know, um, or you're feeling like you're not a hundred percent there or they're not a hundred percent there. You know, if this is the person that you want to be with, then try your, then, you know, try to work it out in a realm that you see the person where you love them again. You know, you just genuinely love them and you try to relax because I see mentally there's a lot of sharpness on your mental. Okay. And some of you guys are mentally wearing yourself out and you keep trying to understand something when if you just, I feel, get happy. And in order for you to get happy, you got to let something go. You have got to. Either you let the situation with the person go because they're interrupting your happy or you get happy within the situation that you're in. But you've got to gain a level of happiness, okay? And some of you cutting a relationship and ending a relationship is going to bring you happiness. It's going to take a little while. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's going to bring you happiness. Others of you, yeah, I do see there's going to be some breakups coming up for some of you if you haven't already broken up. So, and if you have broken up, someone may be coming to you trying to um, talk to you again or, so, or you talk to them to try to, you know, get clarification about something. You know, how can we work this out? Can we start over? Can we start slow? You know, can we, you know, try to work this thing out? I don't want to fight. This is things that you're hearing. You know, I, I want us to be everything that we can be. You know, our love is strong. We can work this out. You know, let's not, let's not, let's get stable you know, let's move in together, let's, you know, you know, all of these things you may be hearing coming from that person, okay, um, and it's like you may be on that course with them at one point, and then you get scared again, or you doubt it again, and then you kind of move back to that place of being cold, and trying to self-protect, and that sort of thing, going back into that, that place of, of loss, right, so you have to do this for you, and I'm saying this to Scorpio, I'm saying it's to Libra and you. And I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, I think everybody else is going through their own level of confusion. They're not stuck. They're like dealing with people that's going through that, that type of thing, right? And they're kind of like just going through the motions. You guys are in this place of mentally, you got to get into a clearer space for yourself. Get clear, you know, commit to yourself that, hey, I'm going to be happy. I deserve to be, hey, I'm going to get out more. I'm going to stop walking around and just being a hermit and not going out okay i'm going to go out i'm going to find my happy okay i'm going to do something outside of just be and you know live for my family live for my children live for someone else live for a job live for work i'm going to live for me right so that's what i have for you guys i i would i would challenge you guys for the rest of this month to live for yourself to incorporate something one thing that you may have wanted to do and you may have talked yourself out of it you've just been um delaying and delaying and delaying but challenge yourself challenge yourself to step outside and do something that you've always wanted to do if you wanted to go someplace socially and you know go to a social event and there's no one to go but you just go if you call up a couple of your friends and say hey would you like to go to this event and kind of like plan it and go out but you deserve to do that you deserve to kind of like have that moment and i do see that you guys will have that moment but it'll come with a breakthrough some type of breakthrough is going to come for sagittarius's as we get into may for a lot of you guys you're going to get out of this funk of feeling like you know my life is just nothing you guys are going to become more um i feel like you're going to come more in line with yourself and you're going to be more attractive because you're stepping into this realm of self of self right so more attractive and and more abundant and feeling happier again so i would challenge you guys to do that it looks like some of you naturally it will happen others of you you kind of have to make it manifest okay but you can do that i hope all the best for you guys as usual i'm giving you too long of a reading and um, i will wrap this up so that's what you guys have if you would like to comment below and let us know how this relates to you please do so we would love to hear from you and if you are new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care sagittarius